Let them on. Yeah. Welcome to the channel, guys. Back with another video. Today we are clipping the backs and tails of some of the farm stores here. Come on, mate, all your buddies are with you. Come on, boy. So we've done a couple of pens of um, spring-born calves that have been weaned. Um, they're farm stores, so they're not on any of the research um, experiments or anything. We did the breeding heifers that were born this year uh, already. We did them a couple of weeks ago. Um, and we're just doing um, what we call the techno group next. So ones that are out on a grazing experiment um, that are coming for the winter. They were the first ones in. They are the next lot to be to be trimmed. So I'll show you in a minute, but we're actually using uh, a set of sheep shears, just because it cuts through the hair so quick. Does a really tidy job, and um, doesn't get clogged up like the finer set of trimmers do when you hit um, muck. So just open up this pen, ready for them. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, they are technicals, aren't they? Technicals. These are all heresies. <laughs> oh, I did double check. So are the Herefords and the Zimmies split up purposely? The what, sorry? The Herefords. Oh, the, these are Herefords. The these are the last grazing ones on Techno. They're right. That's why they're um, just uh, I call them Zimmies, they're not Zimmies. <laughs> Fleck these. Jamie will be really angry if I call him Zimmies. <laughs> you know, the guy that the mil milks the beef cows. Ideal world should have done it a lot earlier, but not early. better late than never. Um, pretty much. Yeah, so it's about there. I think. Some even go a lot further down. Yeah. How will be feeling a lot more comfortable. So why do we trim the backs of cows? Well, cow, whoever designed these, should, whoever designed that, you need a talking to. Anyway, so we trim the backs off the cows. One, to keep them clean, along with their tails, we trim all their tails as well. Uh, and two, to let them breathe essentially the heat that comes out of a cow all comes out through its back and up through its shoulders and of course if they're full of hair all they end up doing is sweating and when they sweat they get wet and when it's cold at night when they're wet they get colder and you can end up with pneumonia so this is just another tool to help against pneumonia cattle this size shouldn't be getting pneumonia anyway but see how hairy they are all the straw sticks to their back so it just tidies them up that was always one. It's one of Jamie's pets. Look at the belly on it. He's <laughs> been guts in himself. Look at that. I suppose they are. Really. Used to being handled. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Daddy. They are keen for a haircut. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, bud. Come on. Jamie and Clarissa, you made them too friendly. Come on. Look, I'll open the front for you, mate. They're not having it, John. Your paper's doing a bad thing. No. Come on, bud. What do you reckon? I reckon he's about 
Not a million miles away. Hey you are, Jamie, you'll like this. One of your Fleck V steers we got. 450 kilo. Big old boy. Morning guys. It's uh, day two of clipping. It got really dark really quick last night, so we finished about, oh, I don't know, half past four, quarter to five clipping cows. Um, so we've got two pens left here at the home farm to do. And then we're gonna go over to the research farm and uh, clip up the tails of the young stock over there. So we're just cleaning up the tails of some of the cattle on the research farm. They had their backs done last week, so it uh, doesn't take very long. So whilst we've got them in the crush, we might as well weigh them. Just flip the rear with a stick. Comes up on the screen here. He's gone backwards as well. Don't bother weighing this one then. <laughs> Bad news. So John's just cleaning up the tails. There used to be a barbie in her. Used to be. I was sacked. He also did my hair this morning as well. <laughs> Marie would be mad. There you are, look. Much neater. So the muck won't stick to his tail. Keep his back clean. So 
this chap here is one of the worst ones. So that's because his tail's hair is so long. It all sticks to his tail and then he switches it on his backside. So we'll just keep him cleaner and lop it all off. And I'm sure he'll thank us for it. Gotta feel better. So we're going to worm some of the ones that weren't performing quite so well when they were aged last time. Somewhere I have a fair glove. So he was 400 kilos, they get 1 mil per 10 kilos of body weight, so 40 mils of wormer for him. Another really mucky one here. Mm -hmm. I think he likes that. Quite like that. <laughs> Just don't like to see him that mucky on the back end. They, um, these lot are definitely worse than the others because they're they're on a um, more intensive diet. They're getting the barley, and it just seems to go through them. Let a few more in here a minute. The others that are just on their silage um, and nothing else. Their dung's a bit stiffer, they're a bit drier so they don't end up mucky on the back end. Oh boy! So hopefully they'll feel a bit more comfortable. Come on, here we go. Having their tails clipped and all the muck removed. So all this has been clipped off already. That just allows their skin to breathe. You can see here he's still a little bit sweaty on the front. Having all this off allows them to breathe a bit and they don't get sweaty, don't get damp, don't get cold. So obviously their fleeces are designed, or their hair is designed to keep them warm outside in the winter, but when they're in a shed, they don't get, they don't get cold. Guess the wait time. Oh, he's got to be... Twenty? 452. So he's 452 kilos. And we've only just started the winter, so if he continues doing his kilo a day, he'll be a big old boy by the time the winter's done. Push up these guys' food, and then we'll be done. Just, uh, this is probably a bad idea, isn't it? Splendid job, you survived. Good night, cows. So guys, I'm getting terrible at uh, finishing videos. Um, so, sorry about that. But um, I'm just sat in my car waiting for it to demist. Because uh, my car's terrible for steaming up. But uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the um, tail clipping and back clipping that we've been doing. Um, keeps the cows cleaner and a bit more comfortable. Uh, stops them sweating hopefully reduces the risk of any pneumonia we would get in them. So I will see you guys in another video very soon. Cheerio.